Welcome everybody, Wade McNutt here. Our song today is Your Grace Is Enough. And I'll be going with the Matt Marr version of it. There's a Chris Tomlin and a Matt Marr. They're very similar, just a couple different words. I'm going with the Matt Marr version. And if you're uh, using cheat sheets, if you have purchased that to go along with this, uh, then uh, review uh, cheat sheets, key of G. And the chords we will need today are G, G slash B. You don't have that one in there, I'll explain it. C, E minor, D, and A minor. So if you're uh, with cheat sheets, pause for a second and look over those and continue when you're done with that. Alright, so your grace is enough. Is not too bad of a song, uh, difficult wise. So, let us start off at verse 1. Our first chord is G, and we will play it B, D, G, and G's in the bass. The next chord will be a G slash B. Now a slash chord looks strange, but it's not that difficult. The first part of it, G, is your right hand. The second part, slash, is just the bass note. So in a regular G chord, you just play the bass note here. In a slash B, you just move the bass note to there. That's it. So, great is your faithfulness, O God of Jacob. Here's a C chord, C, E, G. C and G in the bass. And we go to an E minor. B, E, G. And E in the bass. You wrestle with the sinners. And then to C. Restless heart. Back to G. You lead me, G over B. By still waters into mercy. And there's a C. And an E minor. And nothing can. Now here's a D chord. We're going to play A, D, F sharp. And on these chords where you're playing the black notes, it's totally fine to go way up into. Let me see if I can play this where you can see it. Way up into the keys like this. Okay? I'm almost at the top of the keyboard, but you want your hand to be relaxed when you play. So A, D, F sharp. Can keep us apart and then end on a C chord. All right, let me play that first verse for you in time. Great is your faithfulness, O God of Jacob. You wrestle. You wrestle. On the pre-chorus, we will play an A minor chord, A, C, E, an A and E in the bass. So remember, then a C over B, your people, then a C chord, remember, to a D, your children, E minor, remember. Here's a D, then G over B. Your promise, oh God. And end on a C. Here's that in time. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. And then to the chorus. The chorus will be a G chord. Your grace is enough to a D chord. Your grace, E 
reminder is enough to see your grace G chord is enough for me and end on a C chord all right in this next part I'm gonna play the intro now this the way I play it it's pretty difficult if you're a beginning piano player uh, but really work on it. I, I encourage you to, to work this up because if it if you do, it sounds really neat. On the record, it's played uh, with guitar. So this is my piano version of what the guitar does. And I'll play it in time and then I'll break it down to what I do. So here's what's going on. going to be going G, B, to C, and it'll do that again. Now the right hand part, the part that sounds so great, it's going to do this. Now you're going to be pivoting on this bottom G note here, so watch that thumb hit in between every note, so we'll go, that might be a tough reach. DNA. And then here's the D and F sharp. So let me play it real slow. Okay, I'll do that again so you can see it. change the G and the D on the bottom it's all this pinky moving around maybe more comfortable to play like this depending on how big your hands are here's that intro in time with me counting it for you one two three four one If you're following along with the cheat sheets, uh, then at the bottom of the page you'll have a section called Going Pro, and there's pentatonic scale and uh, some Nashville numbers. So look over the Nashville numbers. Uh, G is your 1, 2 minor is A minor, 3 minor is B minor, 4 is C, 5 is D, 6 minor is E minor, 7 diminished is F sharp diminished. Getting to know these Nashville numbers and thinking of songs and numbers instead of letters will help you transpose and become more of a professional. So look over those uh, and start to put that in your brain. The other part is the pentatonic scale, which is pent meaning five, five note scale, G, A, B, D, E, and you can use this to uh, flourish the song, make it sound even better as you play. So for example, Great is your faithfulness, so couple of those patterns that I use quite often. I call it rock and roll. So you hit the rock and roll, go up and down, and then I'll go. And then here's another one, rock and roll. Rock and roll. So And you use stuff like that in between when people are singing. For example, 
You lead me by still waters into mercy And nothing can keep us apart See how pretty that is? So start using some of that pentatonic scale. You will love it and you'll sound like a professional. And become a professional. That is it. Pianobanditation.com uh, Please go to the Facebook page. Like it. Post something. Let me know if uh, things are working out. Success stories. Also go by Pianobanditation.com uh, Sign up for the email list so you'll know uh, all the current events. God bless you. Good luck. And we'll see you later.